today we've got the Tangula Smart Media Player, an Android box in shorter terms. So we're going to start with the unboxing as usual and the first thing that strikes is how small it is. Now I do have an Android box already, uh, which is a QBox Plus, but this is very small, but still very powerful. It even has got more ports than my current Android box. Let's unpeel these first and let's have a look at the actual size. Yeah, so that's the Q Plus, as you can see, slightly bigger, more of a size of an Apple TV, but it actually has less ports versus the Tangula. So you've got the USB 3.0, USB 2.0, You've got the RJ45, you've got the headphone jack, you've got an HDMI, you've got an optical in, and you've got the power um, slot as well, where you plug in your charger. Apart from that, you've got the user guide, but to be honest, the device is so easy to use that you don't really need it. Um, and then we've got the remote. Again, pretty straightforward, volume up, volume down, mouse, bo mouse um, option, OK and controls, supports two AAA batteries, that's all you need to power it on. Um, then you've got the power brick and the HDMI lead. So basically everything you need to get it up and operational. So let's have a look. We are running on Android 9. We've got 64 gigabytes of internal storage, but as you've seen, we can expand it via the USB ports. Uh, we also do have a quad-core processor. We do have four gigabytes of internal RAM. Um, so that's that. We've got the Wi-Fi, which works in both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. And then we've got the remote to operate it all. Now, the brilliant thing about the device is that it also supports Bluetooth, which I'll show you in a second because I'm going to pair a mouse, a keyboard um, and a controller. So some pre-installed apps. App Installer allows you to install APKs that you've downloaded. Airscreen is your Chromecast um, or Miracast. Um, one in all, all in one, <laughs> more likely, um, app. Then we've got the movie player, you've got the mob draw, you've got the APK Pure, you've got the pre-installed Prime Video and Netflix, you've got Smart YouTube, which plays without adverts, you've got the Tank TV, um, and one app I've pre-installed myself is WP Pilot, which is for Polish TV. Um, and then let's launch the Tangula app. The Tangula app allows you to watch uh, videos, movies, and TV series um, as they are played live. So it's like a free view, but it's got more channels. Most of them are in full HD, but the actual device does allow to output up to 8K content in up to 24 frames per second. So you can even do um, 4K at 60 if you'd like, or 1080p at um, 60. This TV is actually 4K Samsung TV. So pretty decent. On the bottom, you've got shortcuts you can do for your apps. So the ones you want to launch fast. And then, like I did say, if we go to the settings and the Bluetooth, which is a life saving feature, especially when you want to connect any peripherals, because my previous box didn't have Bluetooth. So the only way to connect a mouse, for example, a keyboard or a controller was via the lead and a USB port. So now we're going to connect an MX Anywhere to uh, Logitech mouse purely because there is an option to use a mouse cursor via the remote, but it is very, very, very slow. Um, I'll actually show you now. So I'm going to take the remote. On the bottom, you've got this mouse icon. So if we, yep, if you press that, it goes into the cursor mode, <laughs> and it is that slow. To be honest, I think it's. It's 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 a case of most, <laughs> as you can see, Android boxes. It's the same case for my previous Android box and even for the um, Shield TV. Hence why I'm just using a box standard Bluetooth mouse, which just does the job pretty well. Works in games, works in Chrome, works in Facebook, because obviously you do have an Android 9.0, so you can download whatever you'd like to onto your t telly. Okay, Play Store. 
as mentioned. So that's that. Back to the actual settings and pair a keyboard as well. So I'm going to use my trusty Zag co Keys cover, which I've been using in my iPad and keyboard and mouse video. And <laughs> to be honest, every single device since I had an iPad Air 2, I think that's the, 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 the keyboard I've used. And then I'm going to plug in, well, plug in, connect wirelessly my DualShock 4 a controller as well, because obviously being an Android device, it does support controllers natively. Um, so you can use them for gaming if you'd like to. And to be honest, that controller works really well, even when you're trying to use it to browse through the Android box menu. It looks, it works really, really, really well. So now I've got three devices connected, the keyboard, the mouse and a controller. So let's start some gaming. We've got a Minecraft in here. Works pretty well. Um, I had to reduce some of the settings um, in the game for it to run smoother because even though the device actually has a G31 GPU processor and a quad-core um, Cortex A55 CPU, the game did struggle a bit on higher settings. Um, but yeah, it's nothing that you can't fix, like I said, with a without going into options and adjusting some of the settings. Thanks for that, works really well. Obviously, Minecraft being Minecraft, you can now play multiplayer. So if you'd like to, you can play it on a, on the Android box. And if you've got it on the mobile, you can play multiplayer with someone else or a console, PC or whatsoever. So works really well. Then let's have a look what else we're going to try. Let's go to apps. Maybe let's try Space Marshals. Really like this game. Um, and again, the controller works really well, as you can see. If you do have a game that supports mouse and keyboard, let's say Baldur's Gate, um, again, you can use that as well. So it's a pretty neat device. I have to admit that, you know, it works as a TV box. It works as a, a gaming box, a smallish console, albeit not too powerful. It works as a media player. You can stream content. Um, from your PC. You can even stream from an iPhone if you'd like to, um, or obviously an Android device. You've got Miracast as well. So it ticks a lot of boxes. It isn't the biggest, which fits nicely into my room. Um, so yeah, overall pretty impressive piece of kit. Um, in terms of the pricing itself, it does cost $249 on Amazon. However, there is a discount code in the video, should show now, uh, that will take $70 off. However, be fast because there are only 15 discounts um, available for $70. And then there is another discount for $30. Okay, and as you can see, it also does a pretty decent job of being an emulator, you can download PSX, EPSXE or FPSE for PlayStation games. You can download SNES 9X for uh, Super Nintendo games, for example. It isn't power powerful enough to run, for example, Dolphin or um, PSPPP, I believe it's called the PSP emulator but anything from the PlayStation 1, Sega Genesis, Sega Mega Drive, SNES, uh, NES obviously era will work flawlessly. And obviously it supports natively, the apps do support natively the controllers as well. So yes, I, I have to admit, pretty impressive piece of kit. Um, okay, let's see how badly I suck at Super Mario World. One of my favorites, actually. Yes, obviously the very first one, not the Donkey, the, not the one with Donkey Kong, but the very first Super Mario Bros. Will be my favorite game, purely because it was my very first game. But Super Mario World would be, um, I think, second best, potentially on par with Super Mario Odyssey on Switch. Yep, well done, me. So thanks for watching another episode of Quick Expert Reviews, guys, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.